Hi everyone and welcome to Positively Kimmy. I am Kimmy. If you are new here, welcome. This is a safe space. And if you're one of my returning subscribers and my besties, hi guys, how are you? I hope you're all having an amazing day. Today I am doing my Ozempic update. <laughs> Let's do it that way. Okay, this is the needle that you get. It has has numbers here, so you can see where you're giving yourself, how the dose you're giving yourself. The blue one is the starter one. It comes in 0.25 and five milligrams. I will get into any side effects that I've had, any weight loss or weight gain that I've had, um, and just give you an idea of how my journey is going. Now, this is gonna be different for everybody. Everybody has different side effects. Um, and I've noticed a few different things this week. This is my third time using the 0.5. Today is the end of week seven and the beginning of week eight. So I'll go over week seven with you, but first I'm gonna show you how to give yourself the shot. So give me one second. Now you can give yourself the shot in the back of the arm, your thigh or your belly. I like to do my belly. You should give yourself a shot in a different spot every time you do it. Um, last time I did it on my thigh, so I'm just gonna pull this down, clean, look, clean off the area that I'm going to use. Excuse my fat. Let that dry. You're gonna take off this and you're going to get the box. What did I do with the box? You're going to take out a needle from the box. The needles come in this. You can see how many you have. This is what it looks like when you take it out. You're going to undo the wrapper and there's a little needle in there. So be very careful with that. You're going to screw on the top and when you're ready, you're going to take the top of it off. And then there's another top protecting the other needle. Save these two pieces. You do need them to discard the needle. Now, I'm on 0.5 milligrams, so I'm going to turn this up to 0.5. Let's see where I am. That's 0.25. You would stop there if that's what you're on. And 0.5 is right there. So I'm going to stop there. I'm going to put this in to where I did that. You're gonna press, you'll hear the clicking. When it stops, you leave it in for about six to 10 more seconds to make sure it's all in there. And then you pull it out. It does not hurt. You take another alcohol swab and just clean the area you did that in. Pull up my pants. You're going to take these two items. You're gonna cover the needle with this one. This is the one on top, and this is how you discard your Ozempic. This is going to go back in the refrigerator. You can see it moving as to where, how many times I have it. We're gonna put the cap back on. And that is it. That's how you give yourself the shot. Okay, so it's as simple as all that. It really takes no time at all. I believe it's the same situation for the Manjaro and the Wegovi. That's how you give yourself the shot. It doesn't hurt. Um, I know when I first started, I expected to feel something and I didn't. Uh, the only thing I noticed is that I'm not hungry, but I did have a setback this week and I will explain that to you. I was 226 last week. I had lost a total of 12 pounds. I'm up to 228. So I've gained two pounds this week, but I know why. So I'm okay with that. I'm not okay with it, but I have no choice but to be okay with it. I gained two pounds because one night I spent at my sister's house. When I stayed at my sister's house, I didn't have access to water. She didn't have any bottled water and the water here where I live, you don't want to drink from the tap. So I didn't have access to water um, and she only had fruit punch with sugar in it. So I had no choice but to drink that. And I had like this much of it. Um, then I had to, they, I was hungry because I didn't eat before I went and someone was going to 7-Eleven and they brought me back a candy bar. So I did have that. So I know where I messed up those two days, that one day overnight. So I had a Milky Way bar and I had a whole bunch of sugar with my fruit punch. And that's why I gained two pounds. 
I'm okay with that because I'm going to lose it this week. And I know that because I'm not staying at anyone's house. And I'll show you right here. I have two of my sugar-free drinks. I keep them in my water bottles. And then I also have my 30 gallon of water here, which you can hear is almost empty. So I'm drinking constantly and it makes you less hungry as well. Uh, the side effects I noticed this week. Oh, all right, before I get into the side effects. So I gained two pounds and I didn't lose any measurements, which is okay. You're not gonna lose your measurements every week. So I'm not letting this deter me. I'm not letting this detract from anything, all the progress I've made. So I'm up two pounds, I'll be down four or five next week, I'm sure of it, because now I'm on the 0.5, it's in my system. This is my third or fourth dose of the 0.5 going into week eight. So I believe it's my fourth dose of the 0.5. Um, so I'm really happy with that. Um, my side effects this week have been really strange. I have the normal ones, the bouts of constipation, the bouts of diarrhea, um, and the exhaustion, <laughs> the exhaustion. If anyone tells you that they're exhausted and they're on Ozempic, Manjaro, Wegovi, believe them, believe them. It is hard to get out of bed in the morning. It is just really, really, exha it's exhausting. And you just are tired most of the time. So you don't tend to get as much stuff done as you would like to, but you push through it because you have no choice. Um, but when your body shuts down, like mine shuts down every day around four o'clock, I can't keep my eyes open for nothing. So depending on where I am, I try and make sure I'm home at that time. I know I'm going to fall asleep, even if it's just 45 minutes and then I feel a little bit better, but I'm never really like energetic like this. You know, I'm not like that <laughs> because I don't have that, excuse me, kind of energy right now. Um, the weird thing is, and you also can have bad dreams on it. You also can get nausea and vomiting, but I have been so incredibly lucky that neither one of those has happened to me because I, before I started taking the Ozempic, I went on the internet, bad idea, and looked at people who had problems and I wanted to know what their problems were. Their anxiety was worse. They had nausea, they had diarrhea, they had severe depression. I don't have any of those symptoms. So I have been exceedingly lucky and I know that. Um, but the one thing that I did notice, and it's the strangest thing because supposedly it has nothing to do with the medication. So if it doesn't, I don't know what else is causing it. I had hair loss. I mean, these clumps of hair coming out last night. I should have taken a picture of it for you guys because I went like this in the shower and literally clumps were wrapped around my fingers like this thick and it was just the breakage and I don't know what else it could be from because it's only been happening since I went up on the 0.5. So we will either be bald and healthy and looking better and feeling better or we will have hair and look like this. <laughs> I've decided I'd rather be healthy with less hair um, for right now anyway. I'm gonna discuss that with my doctor when I see him in September and see you know where I'm at and what's going on. So that's what's been going on with my Ozempic journey. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them below. Um, I promise you guys, I will do better this week. I am accountable to you, I'm accountable to myself and I will not do anything to mess this up. So please bear with me, please. Forgive me for gaining the two pounds and the candy bar and the juice, but it, it, it was what it was. And there's nothing I can do about it now except get right back on and that's it. So with that being said, be happy, be healthy, be blessed, and most of all, be positively you because there's nobody else quite like you and that makes me so incredibly happy. Bye guys, you rock.